Okay, guys, another way to update your kitchen is by making your own art. So you guys ready to become artistes? Yeah. Yes, yeah. oh. we're, <laughs> we're ready. All right. Yeah. This one I think is, is really, really easy and, and fun. It's a great way to use up if you have that old china kicking around or secondhand stores, all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and get stuff with detail, like, you know, either a gold rim. Um, this one here we were howling at because uh, this lovely plate here with the top. Um, this was happy 55th <laughs> anniversary. Oh, it's someone's anniversary oh. plate that wow. we're going to cover over. Oh, oh, that's what so happens nice. after the divorce. Right. You've got to get rid of all the china. Give all this lovely yeah. stuff. What do you do? After thing the to divorce, go. I'm surprised it's intact. To be <laughs> so we're going to take these old plates. So what I did is I went to the um, a, a Japanese paper store or you can get like sort of a nice wrapping paper. You don't want to use like dollar store wrapping paper because mm -hmm. um, you guys can see the weight. There's uh, pieces cut here. Will paper so, like this be in a good art store as well if you don't have a Japanese? Absolutely, yeah. You can see it's, it's really thick. I just, um, yeah. what we can do guys while you're cutting out there, can talk about it, just cut around the oh. plate. Oh, okay. So, and again, it just ha it has to be like roughish. You could just go to hold it up yeah. and cut I don't it. have scissors, so I'm just going to oh, go yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, totally, yeah, yeah. Gonna yeah, because we want the edge to be frayed anyways. Um, go with any kind of color scheme. I went with all black and white because I thought it was kind of cooler in a monochromatic way. So we're going to show off the shape of the plate as opposed to colors. But again, you can do any kind of color, any kind of theme, right? So we've cut that out. And sometimes, you don't even have to sometimes cut it. Now, get into your decoupage glue. Ah, uh, the decoupage, oh, my the favorite. Decoupage. You know this stuff. And again, I love it. This issue here's favorite. I love word, decoupage. And just, like, just get it in there, like, lots, wow. right? How often do we decoupage together? Right, you know, nice. it's, Not it's often been enough. Years, years. I love decoupaging Back with you, man. In the day, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. years and yeah. years of decoupage with you. So we're gonna put a tonnage on, and then put the paper on it. So we should be generous with our glue. Oh, like mm. like uh, we're like dropping it. Oh, okay. Okay. Steven, this and is then... the first time I've decoupaged uh, anything that didn't have all the Backstreet Boys faces on it. <laughs> <laughs> Right? I used to cover everything. See, and then we're just going to do that. So basically what we want to do with the pattern of the paper is we want it to look like it's a new pattern, right? So we're okay. kind of covering up all that nice country rose that you have there, Andrea. Oh, you love my country oh, rose? Oh, the country mm -hmm. rose. Remember I'll have that? you know this is uh, okay. fine china. Well, the country rose the is, is still the number one best-selling china and then in we put the world. On. And we're... Um, and then put the paper on. So that's where we need to be really generous with our glue. I think I used up all yours here. Come on. And then this where you got to sorry your manicures, guys. Get in there and just see how it just gets all smeary. Yeah. And you want to push out all the air bubbles. The decoupage glue, draw, you know, it's pretty quick drying. So that's where you kind of got to get in there quickly and move it around. See? And you put some on top of the paper and as well. And tons on top. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what we're basically doing is we're soaking the paper in this glue. Right. Right? So you do that. And then, again, even the paper becomes kind of really generous here. And you can really just sort of tear the edge. Again, I like that sort of torn edge, and I want it to look a bit old, you know? Mm -hmm. Why do we put glue on top? Because we're sandwiching the glue, uh, or sandwiching the paper be between the two layers of glue, so it makes the paper sort of almost uh, pliable. So for this, obviously, you can't use it for anything else because this is just glue on paper. Um, then from here, once it's completely dry, okay, mm -hmm. then you can get sandpaper, um, different grits. I just cook like a medium sort of grit. And then you can sand the edges. Right? And what that'll do is that'll just sort of, again, if you want to sort of bring up some of that gold rim and, you know, and make it a little bit worn and torn and all that and kind of stuff. And look less perfect, right? Look, you don't want it to be perfect perfect, no, because I think it's all about... Well, you kind of wrapped yours. Good. Oh, that's nice. Is that good to wrap? Well, no, but okay. But that's... <laughs> good for you. You're, you're an artist, so you're allowed to Yeah, artistic do it expression, you, you know. Absolutely. Shahir just revealed to us that he has actually decoupaged before. He's decoupaged his, his toilet. toilet. Yeah, I decoupaged what? my toilet Which once. worries me about how you clean your toilet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, but I sealed it after. I want to see a picture of that. I have a picture. I'll show okay. you. What I have did a you picture. decoupage on your toilet? Is it an image? Yeah, I wanted, I wanted someone to come to my house, and then when they flip up the seat, they get a little surprise, a little picture. And oh, then I sealed it. Is that wrong? What? When you well, say you'll surprise, see, you'll see. All right. when a man says he's a surprise in his toilet when you flip it up, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I can't have an emoticon. I can't live with you, Andrew. No, I can't. I, I can't do anything right. I'm not thinking decoupage. Just put it that way. I would run. The next thing, guys, is we're going to prepare the shadow box again. <laughs> you can get the shadow box any, any size. Um, get linen, put linen on the back. And then what we did is, again, with our decoupage glue or fabric stiffener, you want to stiffen this so it becomes completely adhered to the back. Then you take your plate, you use construction adhesive to glue it, mm. right? And again, depending on what the size of your shadow box is, we did a large one with a selection of plates so it can look like that at the end, right? Which is 
It's easy. That's looking lovely. Hey, teacher, did we do okay? Did you did great, did guys. Pass? This is good. Absolutely. Look at that. Oh, that Beautiful. was good. I like that. that. So if someone wants to continue on that, we can continue down here and go to the next one. This one is really, really, really simple. It's uh, basically all the old nail polish that you have lying around at home and wooden Tons spoons. Of, of course. So okay. just grab this. What we're going to do, guys, is just get the nail polish and oh, get the wooden spoon. And I wanted it all kind of drippy so you can just pour it on. Ooh. Right? Oh, and yeah. It's like icing a cake. Oh, it, right? It smells delicious in here. <laughs> Such a right? waste of good nail oh. polish, though. Oh, guys, we well, are going to be so high oh, for the rest of the show. Sorry, buddy. Well, we don't have to use the whole bottle, but okay. Um, <laughs> oh. Oops. And then you just want to <laughs> give it a nice combine? little drip. You know, and I kind of think that this is where the sort of the fun part comes in. Drip it, and then you can just sort of wherever you want it to stop, just stop Give it, me some of your and then just lay mine. it down. I want to have two colors. Right? I think I used. And that's all. Oh yeah. So that I just think again, it's just there a cool way go. to add color, and I like the natural wood of that the. That looks uh, cool. That one's cool. Uh, oh, look at that. Oh, you did. Wow. Oh. We got artistic. You sure did. That's really cool. It's called teamwork. I that. <laughs> wow. Hey. So again, guys, we're gonna take a shadow box, any any size. I put a piece of cop copper pipe. From end to end, uh -huh. and there's a little flange. You know the stuff the uh, the flanges are the in the hardware store where you have a curtain rod on. You know your shower curtain. Yeah. Those little end pieces. Okay. We have one up here, and it looks like that in the end. We put copper oh, rings cool. on, oh, and you just hang nice. them up. And the cool thing is that they can slide back and forth. Easy, easy. Like See? that couldn't be simpler, right? Yeah, the fumes here. I'm getting oh, the, the fumes are really bad. There's another really quick one oh, I want to show you guys. This one here, I just think this is the cutest thing ever. Um, we went and we got paper from the uh, from the dollar store. Got an old time shredder. You know the shredders that just shred in lengths? Yeah. In long lengths. We wanted to create basically paper spaghetti. So we just mm. shredded the paper so it was long strips. And then with a fork, we glued it in the shadow box and twirled it around and then filled up the bottom so it looked like spaghetti. Cool. That's so, so good cute. idea. But really, really that for the restaurant. Like I like that. Hey, everybody, it's Steven Sabados. Do you want more like the video you just watched? Well, subscribe now and get more home decor, styling tips, and DIYs delivered to you daily. I hear subscribing is really on trend this season.